Often we get asked if a student can enroll if they are under 18. Well, the answer is yes. But there are a few extra requirements for students who are under 18. The first thing you need to know is that below this video is where you can download two very important forms for teens. The first is the exit form from school. It looks like the page on the left and it has blanks for you to fill in. The second one is the superintendent's permission recommendation form. At the top, it's called superintendent's recommendation memorandum of record. So that's a mouthful, but it just means they give you permission to take the test and get a high school equivalency diploma, even though you're under 18. You'll also need to go to the BMV or the Bureau of Motor Vehicles to obtain either a driver's license or a state issued ID. You will need this in order to take the task test. When you go to the BMV, you will need one document proving your identity, even your school ID uh, with your name and your picture on it would work. One document proving your lawful status in the United States. A birth certificate would work if you were born in the U.S. or your immigration documentation if you were not born in the U.S. Your social security card and two pieces of mail with your name on it to prove your Indiana residency to prove that your address is correct. On the exit interview form, you'll need to fill out the top with the name of the school corporation, the address of the school corporation, and the telephone of the school corporation in which you last attended. Also the name of the principal, and then the, the parent or guardian information goes right below that. However, if you've been homeschooled and your school address is actually your home address, then your home and your school address will actually be the same. Just write it twice. At the bottom, you need to pay very close attention if you are homeschooled. If you're not homeschooled, it needs the student's picture, signature, the student's parent or guardian's signature, and the principal's signature. However, if you are homeschooled, the student will go ahead and sign just as they normally would. But then the parent and guardian signs as both the parent and the principal, because that is actually in essence who the parent is if you're being homeschooled. The next form I wanna talk about is called the permission to test superintendent's form, or like I said before, superintendent recommendation memorandum of record. And in short, this means that the superintendent grants you permission to take the task test to, learn, to earn your high school equivalency diploma. The information on there is self-explanatory. You need your name, your date of birth, superintendent's signature, and the superintendent's printed name. You can, again, download this below if you need either of these forms that we just talked about. If your superintendent for some reason doesn't want to sign the form, we have a way to help. Make sure you reach out and ask us. Lastly, make sure that your parent or guardian is with you, whether that's over Zoom or in person, when you come for your first visit so that they can sign your paperwork and they can sign your registration. Because you're under 18, we have to have that parent or guardian signature before we can register you and let you start. What's the most important thing to remember? Don't give up. If you give 100% every day, it'll pay off. This is your chance to accomplish your goals. You are so young, you have your whole life ahead of you, and high school can be something that you finish quickly to move on to whatever your dreams are. So what do you do now? Well, look below. In addition to the two pages that you need to download, you will see a button. You're going to click the button to enter the enrollment portal. Follow those steps in order, watching every video from beginning to end before advancing to the next step.
Oftentimes student ask, students ask what's wrong with the portal when they keep trying to advance and the video hasn't been watched all the way to the end. So please make sure you watch that all the way to the end. They are all very short videos. And the last step of that portal will be to make an appointment with us so that we can meet you. So hurry up and complete the portal. Why the hurry? Because the faster you start, the faster you can finish. When you walk across that stage in your cap and gown, we'll be there with you celebrating. We can't wait to meet you.